what I like about lawnmower racing. I have a very hectic, like, when I hit the track, it's me and the mower. That's it. I'm Joe Sizemore. And I'm Pam Sizemore, and our home is in Ennis, North Carolina. We race lawnmowers. I bought one drug at home and she didn't know. She said, what are you going to do with that thing? And he said he was buying a racing lawnmower, $500. And he brings this thing home and it looked like a piece of crap. And I'm like, you spent $500 on that? He got into building for other people. It was like his buddies would get into it and they'd all be out here in the shop trying to build one. She started going to races and we started winning. and. So what do you think it is that people love so much about lawnmower racing? What do you think it is? When you first go out on the track, yeah. the very first time you ever get on a lawnmower and go out on the track, there is either something there or there's not. I'm going to race the rat rod tonight. Uh, it's a single cylinder overhead valve. I mean, you look at it, it looks like a piece of junk, but it runs good. Okay, we're getting ready to start. 16 laps as usual. What is this track like, Pam? It looks it's very pretty bumpy. Rough. It's very rough. Yeah. And there's, it's rough, and then at the same time, it's dry in patches, and then there's places where it's slick. When I first started racing, oh, I would look God. up, and all you ever seen was him going, faster, put it to the floor. And I come off the track one time, and I told him, don't do that to me. That drives me crazy. And let's get ready. Here we go. Go! We're racing. We're off. Here we go. We're racing now. I think it's hard to understand for some people because it does seem like, and I hate to use this term, such a redneck thing. I think people like watching it just because it's entertaining. Well, yeah. Yeah, when somebody spins out, it's like, oh, you know, what's going to happen? Yeah, are they going to crash into them? Um... Well, the other week, uh, she ran into me with that thing and busted my clutch pedal and bent it all up. But I slid out. I spun out, but she hit me in the side pretty rough. Whose fault was that? I told you. I said it. I spun out. Okay. All right. A lot of them are our friends, so to speak, but they're like family. We've got a very tight-knit group as far as closeness, caring about one another, helping each other out. I think everybody needs some yeah. type of outlet. Yeah. I mean, life's boring, it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Work and come home. Work yeah. come home. You need something that, that you value, that, that makes it fun, that makes it worthwhile, and if you don't have that, I just can't imagine not having that. True. 